A lot of people say that February is a month of love. Uh, I remember hearing uh, the prophet Bob Jones talk about how February and Valentine's Day was, you know, uh, God's favorite holiday. Uh, just because there was so much love and although America and the Western world commercializes it and uh, pornifies it and sexual sexualizes it and uh, you know and and so Valentine's Day is, is and again you might say oh there's a fat cupid and you know what does a fat cupid have to do with the real angels you know all these weird mystical pagan type of things and rituals but still in midst of that I remember the, uh, the late Bob Jones talking about how you know God really likes Valentine's Day because of the remembrance of covenant, the remembrance of love, uh, because of you know so much love that's in the air. And again, uh, love is the atmosphere of heaven. Love is the atmosphere that the Holy Ghost uh, manifests. Amen. Okay, I want to give you this word that I have. Uh, for uh, the month of February, okay, we are entering into the month of February. Somebody say hallelujah. We're entering into the month of February right now, and praise the Lord. And also, before I just go into this word, uh, did you know, Mary, did you know your baby boy will one day walk on water? Hey, did you know that I just did my first live webinar uh, on January 20th, literally 10 days ago, and it was awesome. Okay, but our second l live webinar is coming up on February 22nd, okay? February 22nd. I wish somebody on my team, Anna or Jessica, was watching, uh, but they're too busy working now. <clears throat> but February 22nd, we are doing my second live webinar, okay? It's called... Uh, 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 222 prophetic keys, okay? 222 prophetic keys. And that's going to be on February 22nd, to the second month, 22, February 22, 222 prophetic keys. And I'm doing my second live webinar on February 22nd called 222 prophetic keys. And it's going to be totally free. Okay, first webinar, we're experimenting, we're trying different things, and it was incredible. I heard such great feedback, such great reports, amen. And, uh, and, you know, there was a cost to that when we're experimenting, we're trying out different things. But um, 2 to 2 uh, February 22nd, we're doing our second live webinar. It's going to be free. F-R-E-E, -E, okay? F-R-E-E-D-O-M, freedom. Amen, all right? And that's going to be on February 22nd. And I will be in Hawaii at the time, praise the Lord. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be releasing the grace of the Holy Ghost from the islands of Hawaii to you. Ha <laughs> ha, in Jesus' name. And that's going to be awesome, okay? So uh, that's going to be free. I wish Anna or Jessica, somebody on my team was on, or even Darlie, but I don't think she's got the information. But uh, otherwise, we would have been sending the link right here. All right, but it's going to be awesome. All right, well, I want to give you the prophetic word for the month of February. Somebody say February. Do you know that February is the best month because it's my birthday month? Did you know that I was born on February? I won't tell you the day because I want you to be prophetic. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> but I was born in the month of February. That's why February is the best month. I'm just kidding. Did you know that Catherine Coleman went home to be with the Lord on my birthday month? On my birthday. Not in the birth year, okay? Because, you know, I'm, I'm much younger. But Catherine Coleman went home to be with the Lord in my birthday, okay? And that's so special. Because I believe that uh, me and our ministry, we we carry a measure of the mantle of Catherine Coleman. Okay, if you know me personally, if you know our ministry, you would know. But because you don't know, you don't know. Anyways, but um, so February is a great month. And, uh, you know, and it's it's a very special month because it's the month of Valentine's and all that. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. I am not your Valentine. I am not yours. But Jesus is your Valentine. Amen. And, um... You know, and February is a month where, you know, Bob Jones went home to be with the Lord. John Paul Jackson went home to be with the Lord. The late, great Billy Graham went home to be with the Lord. So, you know, February is a very interesting, unusual month where so many great men of God have gone home to be with the Lord. Even Captain Coleman went home to be with the Lord on February 20th. Look at that, Emmanuel. That's my birthday, February 20th. All right, so, you know, February is an unusual month where a lot of great men and women have gone home to be with the Lord. And and so I want to give you this word. 
word here for the month of February. All right. So it's an amen. I want to give you this word here for the month of February. Do like and do share. Okay. Share, 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 because somebody's going to get blessed. I believe February is a month of mega momentum. Someone say mega momentum. Okay. Mega momentum. February is a month of mega momentum. Shabababa. And I want to I wanna first go into the Hebrew, okay, and the Hebraic scriptures. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then I want to break it down, and I want to give you three things for you to prophetically engage with, like some binoculars. You're trying to gauge and engage, all right, and what to scope in, focus into, rabosa, what to expect in this month, okay? So uh, we are officially in the Hebrew month of Shabbat. Someone say Shabbat. All right. We are officially in the Hebrew month of Shabbat. And you know, you know me, I like to break it down into Hebrew calendar and I like to bring it into the now of the Gregorian calendar. And I like to give you a rabbinical, historical, biblical backgrounds and context for us to understand what the Lord's doing and or will want to do in this month. Okay. So this is a prophetic forecast for you to look out for in this month of February. So uh, this month in Hebrew that we're now in is Shavat. S-H-E-V-A-T. Shavat, okay? And literally one of the, the meanings of, of Shavat or of this month stands for rainy days. Someone say rainy days. Someone say the rain of the Holy Spirit is showering blessings upon me, okay? So this, this month, it literally stands for rainy days where there's going to be much rain, rains of the Holy Spirit, rains of blessings. And I love it because, you know, if you do a word play, rain, R-A-I-N, it could also equal R-E-I-G-N, rain. Because when the Holy Spirit rains down, then there's a ruling and a reigning factor of the power of God where the blessings Blessings of God begin to take dominion wherever you go, okay? So Shavat is a month where it's it's there's a lot of rain. There's a lot of rain for you to expect. But I want to break it down here, okay? I want to break it down. The first prophetic point for you to look out for and to understand for this month of Shabbat, Shavat in and February is number one miracle. Someone say miracles. Or, or, excuse me. Someone say movement, okay? I want to talk to you about uh uh, how uh, this month of February, you can expect mega movement. You can expect movement. Someone say movement. Okay, I'm going to break it down here. Okay, uh, in this month of Shabbat, the Hebrew scholars say it is the new year for the trees. Trees, yes, trees, like trees in the forest, trees in the park, trees in the neighborhood. Shabbat is the new year of trees. Someone say trees. Okay, oh man, Shabbat Babo. Someone say trees. Okay, so because it's the new month, uh, it's the new year of trees. Okay, there's gonna be miracles. I'm getting my points mixed up here. I apologize. Okay, because it's the new year of trees, there's gonna be movement, but also there's gonna be miracles. Someone say miracles, which is my point too. Okay, there's going to be miracles. Okay, I'm skipping around here. I'm so sorry. There's gonna be miracles because whenever there's the presence of a new sprouting or something coming up afresh and anew, that means that there's miracles that are abounding. We know that trees uh, in allegory or metaphorical uh, uh, symbols, you and I, we stand for oaks of righteousness. We also stand for trees of justice. Okay, we have been rooted. We are grounded. We are grafted into the vine of the Holy Spirit, and we're here to stay, and we're bearing much fruit, and as our branches are expanding in every side and every direction and as our branches are expanding then we actually become a covering and an apostolic covering to protect people that are under our stead and that is under our authority so this is the month 
of new trees, okay? And, and I know you might be like, okay, this is really weird, but let me break it down for you and let you know why it's so uh, important, the fact that there's new trees. When there's new trees, there's new oxygen. When there's new trees, there's new nutrients. When there's new trees, uh, there, there's new signs and symbols. When there's new trees, there's new provision. Whenever there are new trees, it means that there's a new planting, there's a new sprouting, there's a new budding, there's new reinforcements, there's new resources. And in this month of February of Shabbat, the Lord is releasing miracles and is releasing resources unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. And one thing that's so important about the new trees, someone say new trees. Listen, I'm not talking about the California green leaf. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the trees where it says that in the Garden of Eden, the tree of life was sprung and was sprouted. The tree of life. Someone say, desires fulfilled is a tree of life. I'm telling you this month, the Lord is about to fulfill the desires of your heart. Isn't that good? The Holy Spirit is about to fulfill the deep longings and cravings and thirsts and hungers and desires of your heart. So you will have a tree of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. So in this month, you expect miracles, okay? Which is my point number two. I just kind of skipped. I'm sorry. Point number two, which is miracles. Because where there's new trees, there's trees of life. Where there's new trees, there's new life being released. Someone say amen. Okay, but the very interesting thing about this, hear me now, is when there was new trees, it meant that uh, it was a tithe to the priest. Someone hear me today, okay? I'm about to preach it. When there was new trees, it meant that there were tithes that were coming to the priests, to the leaders of Israel, to the people of God. It means that there was tithes coming to the priests. Whenever the priests are honored, then there's a reciprocation and a recycling. There's a cycle, a recalibration of the blessings of God. I'm telling you here today that the men and women of God in your life are about to be blessed. And when they get blessed, you're going to be blessed. When you're a man of God, when you're a woman of God, when you're head, when you're authority, when the people in charge and instead of you, even Apostle Paul says, do not make it difficult for people to keep charge over you. He says that in, in, in the book of Timothy. So... Uh, uh, in the epistles. So uh, when, when there's new trees, it means that there's tithes that are coming in to the priest. What does that mean? That means there's a restoration of order. There is a Levitical order, an order of the priesthood that's being restored, which means that when the priests prevail, there's more prayer, there's more presence, there's more power. Are you guys following? There's more uh, cleanliness, there's more purity, there's more sanctification, there's more of that. So why, why is a new tree so important? Because when there's new trees, that means there's new miracles. And when there's new trees, that means the tithes are blessing and are feeding the priests of God. I'm here to tell you today that the Lord is releasing substance. I'm here to tell you today that the Holy Spirit is releasing favor. I'm here to tell you right now that the Holy Ghost is releasing resources to the people who are doing the true, genuine work of the Lord. If you believe it and if you receive it, someone say amen. Someone say new trees. Shabbat February is the month of the planting and the sprouting of new trees. I'm here to tell you today that you will sprout, you will spring up, and you will have a tree of life in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe us, amen. Listen, I'm going to go back to number one, but maybe we can just call it number two now. Because uh, anyways, all right, number two. The second thing for you to expect in this month of February and in this month of Shabbat it is movement. Someone write down movement. Okay, it is going to get really good here, people. All right. It is movement. Okay. And so, okay. In this month of Shabbat, uh, according to the word of God, according to the Bible, okay. Uh, and Zechariah, <clears throat> someone write down Zechariah 1.7. Zechariah 1.7. On the 24th day of the 11th month. And right now, Shabbat. Right now, the month we're in, it is the 11th month in the Hebrew calendar. Uh, I know it can be a little confusing, but all right, it's we are in the 11th month in the Hebrew calendar, okay? Which is the month of Shabbat. 
So Zechariah 1 7, I'm reading the word of the Lord here. Zechariah 1 7, on the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month of what? Shabbat, the month of Shabbat, in the second year of Darius. Hear me. The word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah. The word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah. This is a month where the word of God is going to come to you without any restrictions. This is a month where the word of the Lord is going to come to the prophets so clear, so strong, so obvious. So apparent, the word of the Lord is coming to you. And when the word of God comes with acceleration, with recompense, and with rapid fire and power, when the word of the Lord comes, that means that there's movement. Someone say movement. Someone say, Jesus is moving me from glory to glory. Someone say, Jesus is moving me into a new realm of power. Someone say, Jesus is moving me because the word of the Lord is coming to me afresh in Jesus' name. Someone say, Amen. If you receive that, someone say amen, amen, and amen. Listen, the Bible here says Zechariah 1 7 on the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month of Shabbat. The second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah. Listen, I don't know, I don't really know how, how this works, where there's times and seasons, you know, sometimes, and, and you may say, Pastor Ben, I'm in a season right now where I'm not really feeling the Lord. You might say, Pastor Ben, I'm in a season where I'm tired. I'm weary. I know a lot of us, we just finished 21 days of consecration. There was a mega momentum. We were pushing. We were fighting. We were going for it. We are riding a wave of His glory where we didn't even need to try. There was mega momentum happening. But now... In the last week, a lot of us were like, okay, I'm a little tired. You know, I want to rest. I got to get refreshed. I got to get ready. You know what I'm talking about? But in this month of February, as we're entering in, as we are in, and in the month of Shabbat, the Lord is saying that there's going to be mega momentum and great movement because the word of the Lord is coming to you afresh. Okay, the word of the Lord is coming to you in this month of February, in this month of Shabbat. And I want to give you another scriptural reference or someone say scriptural reference. Deuteronomy chapter one. I love this. Deuteronomy chapter one here. Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter one, uh, uh, verse three. Okay. In the 40th year on the first day of the 11th month, ding, 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 the 11th month. What is the 11th month? Shabbat, February, right now. In the 40th year. Okay. Imagine at the end of 40 years of wandering and going around in the wilderness. You better hear me today. All right. At the end of the 40th year. At the end. And this is Deuteronomy 1, 3. In the 40th year on the first day of the 11th month. At the end of 40 years of disobedience, rebellion, wandering in the wilderness, in the desert. At the end of 40 years. On the eleventh month, do you hear me now, people? Deuteronomy one three. On the first day, Moses spoke to the people of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him in commandment to them. The Bible here says Moses spoke to the people of all of Israel. Your forty year season is over. Your forty years of wandering is over. The word of the Lord is coming to you afresh in Jesus' name. Now, 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 now. The word of God is coming to you. The Bible here says, And Moses uh, spoke to the people of Israel according to what God had given them. So at the end of 40 years, on the 11th month, the month of Shabbat, right now, uh, February, Moses began to speak the word of the Lord to the people. Hear me now. It gets better. And then we go on to verse 6. Woo my gosh. Somebody help me preach here. Verse 6. The Lord our God said to us in Horeb, Hear me. You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey and go to the hill country of the Amorites and their neighbors and the Arabah and the hill country and the lowland and the Negev and the Seco. Verse 8. See, I have set a land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them the offering. My gosh. The Lord is saying right now, 
You have stayed in this place for too long. You've been in the old realm of grace for too long. You've been hanging around these old friends for too long. You have been in this place of Horeb. Verse 6, Deuteronomy 1, 6. The Lord our God said to us in Horeb, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. You've been boo-hoo-hooing. You've been sad, sorrow, and, and mourning. You've been in depression and oppression. Rabo kata. You've been beating yourself around. All right, you have stayed at this mountaintop in Horeb for way too long. And God has said, I'm bringing your poverty into prosperity. I am moving you, and I'm moving you from the land of Horeb, 40 years of wandering, waiting. I'm moving you from this mountain into the land of promise. Come on, I'm moving you. The Lord is saying, the word of the Lord is moving you, and you are moving into a new dimension, moving into a new place, moving into a new realm of glory, moving into the promises of, of the Lord. It will be fulfilled. You will possess it. Go in and take possession, says the Lord. Come on, the word of the Lord. And Moses commanded the people and said, now I'm going to speak to you what God has given me. Listen, for a season, you did not hear, but today you will hear. For a season, you were still, but now you're about to stand. For a season, you were waiting, but now you're going to celebrate. For a season, you did not feel him, but now the word of the Lord is about to visit you. Now, 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 in power and glory, shikarabobo, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, now you will move. So February uh, is a month of movement. Someone say, Jesus is moving me. Someone say Jesus is moving me. Shoo! And listen, that doesn't necessarily mean a new church, a new ministry, a new house. It doesn't necessarily mean a, 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 you're moving in a physical location, but you're moving into a new spiritual dimension. But sometimes you will not upgrade and move into a new spiritual thing unless you physically do something. Because the spiritual is connected with the physical. Unless you spiritually uh, unless you physically do something, you won't move forward in the spiritual. You hear me now today. Ephesians chapter 6. After all that you've done, stand. All right, listen. We need to walk out our, our faith in fear and trembling. February is a month of miracles. New trees, priesthood, prayers, incense, tithes, restoration, resources, tree of life. February, Shabbat is a month of movement. Some will say movement. God is moving you. The word of the Lord visited Zechariah in the 11th month, Shabbat, now, today, February. The word of the Lord came. All right, Moses had it all in his spirit, in his spirit, man. But on the first day of the 11th month of February, he spoke the word of the Lord and shed it to all of the Israelites. Though weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm telling you, great joy is coming. Great jubilee is coming. Great gladness is coming. I speak the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume you right now. Because the Lord God is moving you. And the Word of God is moving you. Not the Word of man, but the Word of God. Not the emotions of your soul, but the Word of the Holy Spirit. Not your flesh and not your depression, but the Word of the power of righteousness is moving you. Someone say amen. Someone say keep preaching, Pastor Ben. Someone say you're doing good. You're doing okay. Like a crazy looking hair. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give you the third prophetic point before I bring this to a close. Okay. Third prophetic point for you to expect this month and Shabbat and February. Do give me some hearts and likes here. Give me some hearts and likes here. Give me some hearts and likes here. It, it is a little too long, but it's all good. I'm going back to my old nature. I mean, my old hair. Rambosa. The third prophetic point I want you to expect. And if this is bearing witness with your spirit, someone say amen. All right? Someone say hallelujah. All right? I want you. Uh, all right? The third prophetic point for you to expect and for you to Receive in this month of February and Shabbat is mercy. Someone say mercy. All right now. All right. I, I'm bringing this to a close. And this has been super good this morning. Okay. If you agree, someone say amen. All right. The third prophetic point for you to expect in this month is mercy. 
And of course, you know, uh, it's going to be February 14th soon, Valentine's Day. Okay, and um, but uh, as I was in prayer, I really felt again, mercy triumphs over judgment. Okay, that's the, the word of God says. Mercy triumphs over judgment, which means that um, the Lord is, is setting things straight. The Lord is putting things in the right order. He's moving things in and he's moving things around, which means that, you know, his mercy, his kindness, which leads us to repentance, his kindness is about to crash in, is about to flood in. Um, you know, a lot of people say that February is a month of love. Uh, I remember hearing uh, the prophet Bob Jones talk about how February and Valentine's Day was, you know, uh, God's favorite holiday. Uh, just because there was so much love and although America and the Western world commercializes it and uh, pornifies it and sexual sexualizes it and uh, you know and and so Valentine's Day is, is and again you might say oh there's a fat cupid and you know what does a fat cupid have to do with the real angels and, you know all these weird mystical pagan type of things and rituals but still in the midst of that I remember the, uh, the late Bob Jones talking about how you know God really likes Valentine's Day because of the remembrance of covenant, the remembrance of love, uh, because of you know so much love that's in the air. And again, uh, love is the atmosphere of heaven. Love is the atmosphere that the Holy Ghost uh, manifests. Amen. And so uh, you know I really believe in this month of February and Shabbat uh, that that you know God's releasing mercy. Okay, God is releasing mercy. Because um, this is a month where many men and women of God have gone home to be with the Lord. I don't think it's a coincidence, okay? To the spiritual, all things are spiritual. But to uh, the, you know, the carnal, all things are carnal, okay? So you might say, Pastor Ben, I don't, I don't see the resemblance. I don't see the correlation of this. But for me, I do. Because February, Billy Graham went home to be with the Lord. Listen, Billy Graham went home to be with the Lord one day, literally a few hours after my birthday. He went home to be with Jesus February 21st. Isn't that incredible? All right, he went home a few hours before my own birthday. Catherine Coleman went home to be with the Lord on my birthday, February 20th. Uh, Bob Jones, uh, you know, of course, uh, I believe the, the love encounter. Hold on, let me, let me just bring this here. Um, Shababa. So I'm going to give some hearts and likes here, all right? Uh, John Paul Jackson went home to be with the Lord in the month of February, okay? Rabo Shabababababaya. Bob Jones went home to be with the Lord February 14th on Valentine's Day. Isn't that interesting? Bob Jones, one of the greatest prophets of all, and I don't care what you say uh, or what you think, okay? He was still the true, genuine man of God and prophetic father of our generation. Was he perfect? No. Are you perfect? Probably not at all. So who are you to judge? Anyways, um, Bob Jones went home to be with the Lord on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, -ba 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 -ba. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, you know, and again, for us, I think it's a sign because remember, uh, he had a, a, a death experience. The prophet Bob Jones had a death experience where God sent him back, um, you know, to minister. And uh, again, uh, you know, in this vision that Bob Jones was taken up into heaven and he died. And in this vision, there were so many people in a line waiting to face the Lord at the throne of God for the judgment. Hear me. And as the prophet Bob Jones came forward, or I, forgive me for not having all the clear details in a row but pretty much the sum up of the story is this in the vision in this death experience it wasn't a near death it was a real death experience bob jones uh hears the lord say did you learn to love did you learn to love and really it, it wasn't about did you plant churches did you raise the dead did you do all these great miracles in my name uh, were you ordained as an apostle by Kojak and by the apostolic and by, you know, this network and that network? 
I, you know, were you a great prophet? You know, it wasn't about that. But in this death vision experience, Bob Jones hears the Lord say and ask each person, did you learn to love? Because love is the standard. Love is the requisite. Love is everything. And, uh, you know, again, we shouldn't prophesy if our heart is not right before the Lord. We should not minister if our hearts are bitter, if we're angry. We have no authority to preach the word if we're angry on the inside. And, you know, and so Bob Jones in his death experience, uh, you know, the Lord confronted him and said, did you learn to love? And then... Bob Jones came back to life and he had a word for the church and he began to share to all the churches, all the pastors, prophets, ministers, apostles, fivefold and said, guys, the most important thing is love. We have spiritual gifts so we can love. We have the power of the Holy Ghost so we can love. We have the full entirety of God's word so we can love. Everything is about love. And, of course, Bob Jones went home to be with the Lord on Valentine's Day, February 14th, uh, 2000, uh, what is this year? 2014. He went home to be with the Lord. Uh, you know, so many people have gone home to be with the Lord. Let me see here. Uh, I just want to make sure before I say it here. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Anyways. Listen, I want... I, I, I believe that this month is a month of mercy. Where, where the Lord is um, causing us to love. The Lord is causing us to uh, have first love. The Lord is causing us... Uh, to walk in mercy. The Lord is causing us to be merciful, be kind, be patient. Again, the fruits, the characteristics of Christ. And uh, in this month, the Lord is releasing miracles, movement, and mercy. Mercy. We're so undeserving, but it gives us mercy. All right. In this month of Shabbat, in this month of February, the word of the Lord is coming to you. And as His word comes, you will become merciful. Listen, I guarantee if the word of God encounters you, you're not going to be hard-hearted and judgmental. You're going to be merciful and kind and patient and loving. Okay? Because woe am I, for I'm the chief of all sinners, said Apostle Paul. Father, I pray for my friends here today, watching now, live, and on the replay. I pray that in this month of February, we would experience mega momentum i know that there are mantles and even now i could just feel your presence thinking about billy graham that went home to be with the lord february 21 thinking about Catherine coleman that went home to be with the lord february 20th thinking about uh, bob jones that went home to be with the lord february uh, 14th thinking about john paul jackson that went home to be with the lord february 18th and uh, you know so many Great men, women of God have gone home to be with the Lord, to be with you, Jesus, in this month of Shabbat, of heavy rain, of new trees sprouting up. And Lord, I, I pray that, you know, that we will receive the mantles, we will receive the importation, we would receive mercy. <laughs> we will receive mercy, Lord. Shabbat uh, Soto. Listen. Paul Cain went home to be with the Lord on February 13th. Papa Paul. Man, he prayed for me. I met him. He went home to be with the Lord February 13th. Wow. Jesus. Mercy, 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 mercy. Guys, bless you. Happy for, uh, for February. Uh, happy Shabbat. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.